Hello, I'm Dan Toppy and welcome back to Going For Gold, the series where I give you the quickest and easiest ways to earn the golden camos on your weapons in Call of Duty Cold War. In this series, I give you help with the best classes to use, the best player styles to use, the best game modes to play in and everything you need to do to earn the golden camos on your weapons in the quickest way as possible. So in this video, we're going to be covering the MP5. It's the first SMG, one of the best SMGs in the game, even though it has recently been nerfed. But with these videos, I try to make them as quick and as useful as possible. I hate watching videos just as much as you do where people spend ages just before they even get into the information you need to know. So if you like to sound those videos, make sure you do stick around and subscribe. So let's get straight into it. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is level up your gun all the way to the max. This to get all your camo challenges unlocked and get all the attachments unlocked that you'll need for the best classes going through this video. So whilst you're doing this, use any attachments that you want. But the best class you want to be aiming to build to make this first challenge is easier is the agency suppressor, the task force barrel, the steady aim laser, the salvo 40 round fast mags, the air on elastic wrap and you want to be running this with perk greed on so you want flak jacket and tack mask assassin and tracker and ghost and ninja this will keep you resistant to all stuns and lethal nades it'll also keep you undercover so you won't be getting shown on mini maps and you'll also have really quiet footsteps so you can sneak around a bit more this is the best class you want to be using because it's the most well-rounded to help get more kills in general and to get most of the easy challenges done so you want to aim to play on small maps like nuketown and crossroads whilst you are doing this now i'd recommend playing on objective game modes like hard point domination and control as it brings together all the enemies so you can get easier kills and the spawns are a little bit more predictable but whilst you're leveling up your gun and unlocking that best class you can be doing some of the challenges at the same time so make sure you're aiming for as many headshots as possible and also run a stun on your class and a field mic because these two will help you get flora so by the time your gun's leveled all the way up you should be able to have spray stripes and flora done which gets quite a few of them out of the way then once you've got all the attachments unlocked you want to focus on doing geometric this is the next hardest one and this is 50 long shots which is really awkward to do on the mp5 because you have to get kills at such far ranges which i think is pretty wrong because you are using an smg in a way which shouldn't really be used but to focus on this one and to make it easier we're going to need a different best class setup for it for this one you're going to see the gunfighter wildcard on so you can have eight attachments so we're going to need the axial arms three times sight the agency suppressor the task force barrel the sof target designator the field agent grip the forts around fast mags the airborne elastic wrap and the raider stock this will all help you get kills at longer ranges because you need kills at extreme ranges some to count as long shots and there needs to be full kills it can't be an assist or an elimination you have to get the full kill otherwise the medals won't pop up on the screen it won't count you have to have that long shot medal for it to count and we need 50 of those for this geometric challenge to be completed so the target designator will help you see enemies at longer ranges as they'll make their names appear at 60 percent further ranges so you can hit your shots a lot easier whilst using that three times scope so the best places to play on are nuke tower playing from the garage moscow next to the bus and outside on crossroads as well as most places outside on miami because that map is so open so again just play an objective game mode so slightly easier spawns tap fire if you need to or just control your recoil well and you should get these kills fairly easily i did it fairly quickly on nuketown because it was nuketown 24 7 weekend but once you've got that one completed we can move on to the next hardest one which is science for this one you do need to get those point blank kills the ones which people have been really struggling to get we need 70 five of these point blank kills to complete the challenge and for it to be a point blank kill the ball basically has to be touching the enemy so we need another different class to complete this one really easily for this one we only need five attachments so for this one we need the agency suppressor the task force barrel the five milliwatt laser the 40 round fast mags and no stock this is a super fast class meaning you can rush and flank and this is the best way to do it to get these point blank kills sliding into the enemies getting right up close to them and just firing into them the barrel like i said has to basically be touching so make sure you're right up behind them flanking teams the easiest way to do it again play on small maps like nuketown crossroads and moscow these are fairly easy ones to flank on playing objective modes like i said so the spawns stay where they are a little bit easier because in team deathmatch to do flip out super quickly run the same perks as before like i said so you can stay alive whilst flanking and not get detected but once you've done that and you've got those 75 point blank kills you can move back onto that best main class which i talked about before and finish off any other ones you've got left like classic psychedelic or anything else that you might have left it shouldn't take you very long to do as you shouldn't have many of those left it'll just take a little bit of focusing on to get those five kills in a row or anything like that if you are struggling to get them but just try and focus on the same maps and game modes i've been talking about all the way through this video and it should make it a lot easier for you to get them just slow down a bit try and get those five kills and it shouldn't be too difficult to do in the end using the classes i've suggested once you've done all of those you will have unlocked the gold camo and you're one step closer to diamond smgs and ultimately dark matter so if you want more help with videos like this make sure you do drop a follow i will be doing more tip videos 
videos like long shot spots and other things which will help you in general. So make sure you subscribe to see all of that, leave a like if this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.